Hey guys, welcome back to Unstoppable Trading. I've been, I'm right again on NVIDIA. I've been calling this thing since last Tuesday on my video and saying that this thing is the same setup as Apple, as Facebook. And what happened on NVIDIA, we capped up after earnings. Uh, I think it was up by, at one time it was up 10 bucks. Right now, probably, let me look at it. Right now, NVIDIA is up $8.22. It went to 168. Okay, here's the plan. Tomorrow, don't panic sell NVIDIA on your options, of course. It's going to be ha it's going to have some profit taking at open. I want you to hold that strong and wait till at least 167 or 168 to lock your profit. If you ask me when I'm going to sell NVIDIA, I'm going to see 170 tomorrow. Yes, 170. You heard me right. It's just like Apple. Remember Apple after his earning, after hour he capped up? And then the next morning, Apple will start dipping and dipping and dipping. First, first 30 minutes, for first 35 minutes, 40 minutes. And then after that, market, the whole market bounced to the upside. And then Apple went even higher. So that is why I don't want you guys to sell your position so quickly. But if you don't believe me, sell it. Just lock your profit to be safe. Whatever profit it is, just lock it. But I'm going to wait till 170. I could be wrong, it could go to 168 and come back down, but I'm going to wait till my position, my, the target I'm looking at, since my expiration is way outside, uh, March 15, March 22nd, something like that, so I got time. For you, if you don't have that far out date, you should sell your shares next day, Friday, just sell it Friday, don't hold it over the weekend. Okay, and feel free to join my Discord group, I give free calls, everything's nice. Uh, let's talk about SPX. On the SPX, today we went down to 27.29. We, we bounced off at the 20 days moving average, I believe. Uh, and then we stay, we went up all the way and we stay above. That's a good sign. We stay above the 10 days moving average. So what's gonna happen tomorrow? If I look at the future, it looks like red, but I'm not going to look at the future to predict what's going to happen. I'm going to look at the future tomorrow in the a.m. So right now, it doesn't really matter to me because Asian countries are tanking. That's why our futures are tanking also. So tomorrow, I am 70% bullish that we can retest the 26, I mean 2760 or 2755, um, and then we come down. That's why I want you guys to hold NVIDIA because you will go up with the market. Uh, this thing, don't show this thing yet because every time we had a hanging man like this, like this, like this, like this, it, the technical doesn't work as long as we bounce off the support. Well, it, it still works, but hanging man most likely is a sign of reversal, but it's not really reversing. Like this does reverse into you, it's not. So we still, if you draw the one hour uh, trend line, I'm, I'm not going to draw it as I'll take. Uh, I gotta think just really quick. If you draw the one hour trend line on the SPX, you know that we are still within the range. We're still within the zone. We didn't break out yet, break to the downside yet. We're still within the area, so we're fine. Okay, let's take a quick look at the technical analysis on the uh, NVIDIA. So with the NVIDIA earning beats, I was projecting this. This is, this is easy money. Okay, so we close at uh, 162, I say 163. So we blew past the resistance and then we are at uh, around this level right here, which is the next resistance on the Fibonacci retracement of uh, 20.236. So I wanna see this go to 168 right here and 170 right here. So this is my target. And then eventually, NVIDIA will go to 180 in maybe two to two weeks um, minimum. I mean, sorry, two weeks max. I'm very, I'm very confident on NVIDIA. So this is the same thing like Apple. We want to take a look at Apple. Uh, so this is NVIDIA, and let's go look at Apple. So Apple after earning, right? After earning, we got all the way up. And then what happened after one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days? Apple keep going up higher and higher. So this will be just like Nvidia. I mean, Nvidia will be just like Apple. 
So this thing, see, I've, I've been telling God, this thing be beaten up, beaten out, beaten down so much, and then once it cuts revenue and guidance before earning, it dropped, right? And then after earning, boom, straight back up. So when after earning, we gapped up, and then we go up even more after three, four days. So Nvidia, hold it until one sixty eight or one seventy. Okay, one thing I want to talk about it's um. Uh, Microsoft with Microsoft it's been really very uh, boring because it's in this uh, choppy the range doesn't remove a lot I think Microsoft will bounce at the 50 days moving average at 104 and then it's going to like this I mean I'm not saying it's tomorrow but it could happen but this is what I'm looking at this is what I'm looking at Microsoft uh with that being said on the spx tomorrow i'll be looking at uh open like this and then like that on friday that is what this is my projection on the spx the direction is up how much 27 55 27 60 once we double top we are going to reject and then that'll come down. Uh, am I bullish next week? I'm not too sure, but with Nvidia, it's going to run to 170 uh, sooner or later. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.